Welcome to our video guide. The Aventalk HM100 is a multi-point Bluetooth helmet headset that provides wireless interphone and GPS function. It is specially designed for motorcycle riders offering clear sound and easy communication. This device allows bikers to receive GPS voice instructions, talk to another interphone within 10 meters and conduct calls on their mobile phone. The Aventalk HM100 can connect to two Bluetooth devices at the same time and by reducing wind and road noise it helps motorcycle riders to enjoy clear communication. The Aventalk HM100 is a high quality, well styled, easy to use Bluetooth helmet headset and is a perfect companion for the motorcycle rider. Episode 2 Install Step 1 Installing the Velcro Shaping Pad First of all, find the best location for the headset on the helmet and make sure that this area is clean and dry. When deciding the best location, consider that the control should be easily accessible and that the USB port faces down. When you're ready, simply remove the protective strip from the Velcro shaping pad and attach it to the helmet. Step 2. Installing the main body. Take your HM100 main body, remove the protective strip and attach it to the Velcro on the pad you have just installed. Step 3. Installing the speaker and microphone. Preferably by wearing the helmet, ascertain the best position for the earpiece and microphone. It needs to be inside the helmet, as close to the ear as possible, and also allow the USB cable to reach the port on the main unit. Once you are satisfied with this position, take the round Velcro pad, remove the adhesive packing and attach to the inside of the helmet. And now, simply attach the headset to the Velcro pad. Then simply adjust the speaker arm to suit. Finally, attach the USB cable to the main unit. And now, your Aventalk HM100 is installed successfully. Episode 3 Charging. For first time use, please charge your HM100 until the battery reaches its full capacity. This usually takes about two hours. The LED will indicate red when charging and will go off when charging is complete. If you have not used the item for a few months, it might take 15 to 30 minutes for the LED to turn red. We suggest to fully charge the HM100 at least once every two months. Episode 4 Pairing. Pairing is an important step for any Bluetooth device. Pairing with a Bluetooth cell phone. With the unit powered off, press and hold the multifunction button for 3 to 5 seconds until the LED flashes blue and red, indicating that the device is in pairing mode. At this point, you should put your phone in pairing mode and select the Aventalk HM100 when found. If you are asked for a pairing code, simply enter 0000. The unit should connect and your phone is now ready for use. Pairing with another HM100 for interphone. Put one of the interphones into pairing mode as you would with a mobile phone. Ensuring that the second HM100 is within 1 meter, press and hold the multifunction button for 3 to 5 seconds until the blue LED is steady. The second device will automatically search and connect to the interphone which is in pairing mode. After successfully connecting, the blue LED of both interphones will flash twice every 4 seconds. Pairing with two Bluetooth devices. Follow the above steps to pair it with the first device. When the LED is flashing twice every 4 seconds, press and hold the multifunction button for 3 to 5 seconds until the LED flashes blue and red, indicating that it is in pairing mode once more. You should now be able to complete the pairing process on the second device as outlined before. And now, the HM100 is paired with two devices. Episode 5 Call Features To answer a call, press the multifunction button. To end a call, press the multifunction button. If you need to reject a call, press and hold the multifunction button for two seconds. To cancel a call while still dialing, press the multifunction button once. To redial the last number, press the multifunction button twice quickly. To increase the volume, press the volume up button and you will hear two tones when the maximum volume is reached. And similarly, to reduce the volume, press the volume down button and again you will hear two tones when the minimum volume is reached. Charging the HM100 will reset it back to factory default settings. Episode 6 Intercom Features To initiate an intercom connection, press and hold either the volume up or the volume down button for about 2 seconds and release it when you hear a short tone. If you wish to cancel an intercom connection that you've just initiated, press the multifunction button and you will hear a short tone. To answer the intercom, press the multifunction button. To end an intercom conversation, press the multifunction button. If you wish to reject an intercom connection, press and hold the multifunction button for about 2 seconds. 
To increase the volume, press the volume up button and you'll hear two tones when the maximum volume is reached. And again, to reduce the volume, press the volume down button and you'll hear two tones when the minimum volume is reached. We hope you find this video guide useful and that you enjoy the product. If you have any further questions, please check our frequently asked questions at www.aventalk.com or email us at support at aventalk.com.